I'm Amy Glees. I'm the product manager at Sensine Health, and I'm going to be talking to you about the product Send. Send was devised by Dr. Peter Watkinson, a consultant at Oxford University Hospitals. He saw a problem that his hospital and others were having, which is that paper charts used to record the observations of patients in wards were great, except for the fact that you need to read somebody else's handwriting, you need to perform mental arithmetic under a lot of pressure, and finally you can't see what's going on with a patient unless you're physically standing in front of their beds. SEND is a solution designed around nurses for nurses to enable them to take observations quickly, accurately and easily. The way in which it works is nurses are stepped through capturing observational information using the kit that's held on the SEND stand and they're then given an immediate response from the system about what the risk score of that patient is and what the escalation procedures for their hospital are, so who to bleep when next to see that patient. Clinicians, senior ward staff and doctors are able to use the website to quickly, at a glance, see the priority status of all their patients in all the wards in their hospitals. We can use the data that's collected to make some really interesting insights, again, perhaps enabling us to better predict who will deteriorate well ahead of that event actually happening, which means that we're able to better support clinicians in giving care to that patient. SEND is designed to be a system that's both easy to use and secure. So first of all, the nurse identifies themselves by scanning the barcode on their ID pass. They then identify the patient using the wristband that every patient will have on them. So here I'm able to confirm that this is the patient who I think it is. And then as a nurse, I can see quite quickly the patient history clearly presented to me. And I can fill in the information that I'm collecting from them. All the observations were added up as they went. So I could see what was in normal thresholds and what was outside. And it's given me an overall score, which is instantly calculated. I'm then given specific advice of what I need to do for this patient with this score. So how often I need to see them again, who I need to bleep, and who I need to tell about this patient. So that means that that set of OBS is now complete and I can carry on. Using this system in Oxford, they calculated that they were saving the equivalent of 3.4 nurses in an average day. So given the staffing shortages and the pressures that the NHS is currently under, that saving is a real benefit.